Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem breadth first search and shortest reach. Consider an undirected graph where each edge weights 6 units. Each of the nodes is labeled consecutively from 1 to n. So this is a one based indexing. You will be given a number of queries. Each query, you will be given a list of edges describing an undirected graph. After you create a representation of the graph, you must determine and report the shortest distance to each of the other nodes from the given starting point using the breadth first search algorithm. Return an array of distances from the start node in the node number order. If a node is unreachable means uh, return minus one for that node. So we just have to like find the shortest distance from the starting node uh, to the end node like to all the nodes if uh, some node is unreachable like this example means so we will just uh, return minus one for that node so here for this example this is the uh, graph we are having so these are the edges and one is the starting node all the distances are start from uh, one outputs are calculated for distances to nodes two through five so here if i consider uh, one is like initial distance, right? So it will be like zero. So we will just uh, leave this uh, index itself. So if you consider two and three means uh, both are having six and for four, uh, it will be having like six and six. So it will be 12 and five is not reachable. So it will be minus one. So here they have uh, mentioned this uh, explanation. So this is how we are going to uh, process this uh, BFS algorithm. We also see how to go in like step by step manner and uh, solve this problem. Before that, uh, we will also check the constraints. So here uh, you can see the constraints are small. So the queries will be like 10 and the number of nodes will be 1000. And this is the number of uh, uh, possible edges. So it's a reasonable number. So it won't uh, give us a, a timed out error. Let's see some sample inputs now. So here we have like uh, Two queries so we have uh, four nodes and uh, two edges so here these are the nodes one two is connected and one three is connected so it will be having six six and uh, minus one so four is not reachable so it will be minus one and again here you can see we have three nodes and uh, we have one edges that is only uh, two and three so the starting node is uh, two if you consider here two we have to remove this uh, starting node and uh, for this three we'll be having like distance six and uh, one is not reachable so it will be minus one so the result is minus one and six so now let's dive into the problem uh, you can clearly uh, see some visualization in this example so let's convert that uh, visualization uh, to solve this problem so we are going to go with uh, bfs for implementing BFS, uh, we, we can utilize Q. So for that, I'll just uh, import a function here. So from collections import DQ. So this is like a common method. Apart from that, you can also use uh, normal Q. So it won't be an issue. And uh, here we will uh, create an adjacency uh, list for the graph. So create adjacency list for the graph, initialize. So graph equals for i in range of n plus one, because this is a one based indexing. That's why I'm just having a plus one here. Now we will iterate through the edges. So for x comma y, in edges graph of x dot append y graph of y dot append of x so this is a bi-directional graph that's why we are uh, adding it like two times for uh, both considering source and destination and this is also like source and destination something like that so it will be like both edges we are adding I'll also mention bidirectional graph. Now we have created the adjacency list. 
after that we have to initialize one more thing that is visited visited equals false multiplies n plus 1 again this is a one based indexing we are just initializing uh, this uh, snippet for uh, most of the problems I guess last two problems we have initialized it and next we have to do few more initialization create distance list so I will call it as distances equals I will initialize it with minus 1 multiplies n plus 1 so all the uh, so all the values will be initialized by one so if some particular vectors is not reachable means it will be automatically uh, marked as like minus one so that will solve some corner case for us and next we have to initialize the queue so initialize the queue for that queue equals dq of a list list inside the list i will be having uh, the starting index and zero so this is the distance from the starting index that's why so after that we also need to update this uh, distance for the starting index so distances of s equals zero that's done and uh, apart from that we also uh, need to update uh, the visited because uh, this is the starting node I'll say update values for starting node okay here visited of s equals true okay now we have uh, completed all the initialization part here this whole thing is our initialization part now we will go to the main logic so main logic let's go down a little now while q it means uh, while q is not empty it will continue the logic until the q is empty so you can just leave it as it is or you can also say uh, uh, while well, q uh, not equal to none or uh, length of q is uh, not equal to zero uh, you can mention any condition now i am going to popping out this value that is the first available index for us so u comma w equals q dot pop left so this is the uh, node and this is the weight now for v in graph of u so this is the adjacency list we are traversing for all, all the available uh, edges or vertices we have to check whether uh, the node is already visited or not so if visited of v equals false so we will only continue when the node is not visited i will just update this distance vector so distances of v equals w plus 6 so if there is already uh, any weight is available it will just add 6 to it so for initially we are having uh, weights as uh, 0 right so we have initialized as 0 so it will just add 6 to it so let's consider this example so the starting node is 1 so initially the weight is 0 so when you are traversing uh, this edge that is 2 you will be updating 0 plus 6 so distances of 2 is 6 like that it will be updated so after updating we will mark visited of v equals true and after that q dot append again we will append the vertex and uh, w plus 6 or you can uh, replace it with the distance of v it doesn't matter both are same 
so this process will continue until uh, there are no nodes in the queue so it will traverse uh, to if there is any available nodes means it will update the uh, weights or else uh, the queue will be ended so for this one it will traverse uh, both these uh, available vertex that is 2 and 3 the weights will be updated and uh, for this one we have only two vertex so uh, so only one node will be updated with the distance 6 and uh, yeah for this example uh, it will go further like 2 and 3 will be updated and uh, 2 will be traversed, there won't be any list and 3 will be traversed, there will be 4. So already 6 will be there for the distance is 3. So it will add another 6 to it. So the distance will be 4 from the starting node. So the distance will be 12 for the node 4 from the starting 1. So that's how the whole uh, logic works. I guess most of you guys already know how BFS works. So this is like a good example. Now this is the whole process. So when it is completed, you have to remove the starting node. So, so here if we have uh, four distances means the starting index that is zero, we have uh, stored here, we have to remove that. So what we can do is distances dot remove zero. So this will remove the starting index or starting distance I'll also comment it remove starting node distance and after that written distances of one colon or you can uh, remove the zeroth index also because this is a one based indexing we are initialized with the additional uh, uh, value so because of that, I'm just uh, passing or returning the distances from index one. Let's run it once to check whether it is working or not. Yeah, it is uh, working fine. Before submitting, maybe we can go through an example just to uh, understand this. So initially distances will be for this example I am speaking so we have like five uh, distances right so I will initialize it with uh, minus one six times because that is n plus one okay I have added all these things now for each time I will be updating the distance here itself so just uh, watch the video till the end to avoid any confusion so first we have the starting node that is one. So starting node or we can have it in the queue. So queue will be one comma zero. So we will be just popping out this um, node and uh, adding it before that we have to update this one. So index one will be initialized with zero. So the queue will be processed and it will traverse to the adjacent uh, vertices so the adjacent vertices are 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 will be updated so 2 will be 6 3 will be 6 both nodes are updated visited also will be updated after that q will be uh, appended with those two vertices so this will be popped out or i can have this next time the q will be like this so 2 comma 6 and uh, 3 comma 6 so both nodes are available so now 2 doesn't have any additional vertex so we will just uh, remove that so this will be popped out and uh, we have 3 and 6 that is the node 3 and weight 6 so now 3 has one more uh, adjacent uh, vertex that is 4 so if this is processed means 4 will be updated that is 6 plus 6 is uh, 12. Now 4 will be updated now the queue will look like this. So this will be 4 and this will be 12. Now 4 doesn't have anything so queue will be automatically goes to 0. 
sorry q will be null so the loop goes out now we are removing this uh, distance zero that is uh, we are just removing this element itself so after removing the distance will look like this remove zero and finally we will be just returning 6 6 12 minus 1 so here you can see 6 6 uh, minus 1 this is like a dummy index we didn't uh, use it so we are just uh, removing it here so this is just a dummy index final result will be final distance equals this is our final uh, distance we got so that's how the whole uh, tracing or uh, the example works so try to uh, trace the problem with other examples also it will be very helpful for you and that's it guys we will just submit the code okay it passed all the test cases and uh, that's about this problem if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this stay tuned for the next video